Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be lightening a 1B wig to a chocolate brown color. What you're going to need is a 40 or 50 developer, a 1B wig, some gloves, and uh, a denim brush, and a plastic Walmart bag. It's a pretty simple process. First you're going to need to wet the 1B wig or a dark brown wig, whichever color that you have. Just pretty much soak it in water. Here I'm just spraying it with a spray bottle, but I realize it's just kind of taking too long, so eventually I kind of like dip it um, in some cold water to get the full wig wet. And then I start to brush everything out into the Walmart bag because that's what we're going to be working out of. And I just keep spraying it until it gets as damp as I need it. So next I highly recommend you wear gloves just because we are working with a developer and it is a chemical and I want you to be safe. So we're working at this Walmart bag, I go ahead and pour the 40 or I believe this is 50 developer all over the hair. Um, you don't have to use 50, you can use 40 but I only had 50 so I went ahead and poured 50 developer all over the wig. I just poured a lot, be quite generous with it because it's such a dark wig, you need the developer to go all over the wig, you know? You don't want to have patchy spots or patchy um, stripes in the wig because you didn't cover the entire wig. So as you can see right here, I'm basically massaging the um, developer all over the wig and this is the ve very most important part of the video. You need to be thorough, You need to be. it needs to be tedious. You need to completely saturate the entire wig because remember, we're lightening the wig so we don't want any dark streaks in it because we didn't cover the wig. So I go ahead and get that brush out and try to brush all the products into the uh, wig. Hopefully this covers the entire thing. So next I basically tie the um, a Walmart back together with the wig inside. This is supposed to trap the heat and hopefully help the wig process faster. Um, the whole entire process took about seven hours. So this is something that you probably want to do at night or when you've gone out. Seven hours later. Um, this is the next morning. I can feel the bag and it was really warm. So I knew that, you know, it has definitely been processed overnight. Here I am opening it up and I was kind of skeptical because I didn't know if it was really going to work. But I took it out and I could see it definitely lightened the wig, <laughs> so definitely a brown. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just looking through it and showing you guys what it looks like. The lace definitely lightens much faster than the rest of the hair. So I wash out the developer. And next, I need to put in purple shampoo. Um, you can use any purple shampoo. I just use one from Walmart. And I put it, the wig back into another clean Walmart bag. And I just pretty much squeeze a lot of purple shampoo into that. Um, I saw someone doing this on YouTube. I think it's supposed to help with the brassiness, um, especially with the lace area as it's lightened a lot faster than the rest of the hair. And I definitely think this aided to the, the color that I was looking for. So. Just lather the entire wig into purple with purple shampoo. Make sure it's as thorough as it was with the uh, developer, and just get every crevice of the wig with that purple shampoo. Be very generous. Okay, so here, so I basically repeat the same process. I tied that 
Walmart bag with the wig, slathered in purple shampoo, and I just leave it for about an hour because that's really all it needs just to remove this extra brassiness. One hour later. Next, I go ahead and condition. The hair's been through a lot, so you need to douse the hair and conditioner. Um, so I use the Aussie conditioner, and I basically do the same thing. I lather the entire thing with conditioner because, you know, the hair's been through a lot. I go in and I just lather it up, as you can see, and I am very, very generous with it. Um, and in this case, I don't put it back inside a Walmart bag. You can. I've, I've seen that being done. It does help. But I just kind of left it out for about an hour um, so that the conditioner can really soak in the hair. One hour later. And then this is the finished look of the wig. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and this is just going to be a montage of me showing you the wig color. Um, yeah, it's a very easy process. And I hope this was helpful. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye bye. Oh,